Hi there, this video is about the estimation of panel unit root tests on Stata. We will estimate four of them and we all know that the purpose of estimating the unit root test is to check the stationarity in the variables and this will be a panel data approach because the different units and time periods will be considered. Such a data set will be entertained in this analysis. And once if we know the level of stationarity, it is going to tell us about the order of integration, which in turn allows us to know that which model needs to be estimated. For example, ARDL model or the technique of CS ARDL or any other regression estimate uh, to use in our empirical analysis. So now coming towards the list of those tests, these are the four tests that we will estimate. Levin Lin Chu test, LLC. Uh, IPS test, which uh, is M. Pisaran Shin test, Breton test, Fisher type test. So, primarily, we should have this command installed on our computer. The Stata software should be having this command that is XT, which stands for panel data, country, and time dimension, then the unit root. Uh, so, if we do not have it installed on our computer, we should install it by using this command. Otherwise, we can go ahead. The first is LLC test. The command its syntax is primarily we should write the command which is for the unit root test for panel data and then we will write LLC for the type of test that we are using. This is LLC test, the variable for which we are trying to find out the unit root and we are also uh, allowed to give a condition. For example, if we want to calculate the test for a given range of the years, for example, selected years, uh, then we can introduce this condition over here. Then we have the separator and after separator comma, we will have LLC options that include trend, lags and small arguments. And if we use this condition, it can be like this. That is XT unit root test of LLC type. GDP is the name of variable. The condition is there if year is greater or equal, that is if the year start from 2000 and if the year are less than or equal to 2020. So it will be at max to 2020. So for these selected years, this will be uh, the test that we will calculate. Then we have the lags after the comma because this is one of those LLC options. LLC options uh, also include other um, arguments that we will see, but lags are mentioned here. Uh, three lags are used here. We can use any information criteria to find out the number of lags. Otherwise, this can uh, incorporate the optimal number of lags automatically. About the other LLC options, trend is also there. If we have a linear trend in the uh, variable graph, then we can use this option and lags is already explained. And if the data set is small uh, sample, then we can use this small sample correction argument by writing simply the small keyword. As you can see, we have written small here and lags, for example, are used as at two and trend is also used. Here the variable is y instead of GDP. Now, if we have the information of this test, then the others are slightly easy. IPS test, for example, will have a similar sort of syntax. Only here we will write IPS, the variable, and then condition is also permitted, then comma, and then the IPS options. In IPS options, trend and lags are the same as that of LLC test, but the demean option is slightly new. So we should try to understand it. It basically removes the cross-sectional means uh, and that in turn reduces the problem of cross-sectional dependence. Then the third test is Breton test. And in this, again, most of the command syntax is the same. A Breton test is to be mentioned here. And there will be Breton specific options in which trend is the older option. No constant is slightly new where we want to suppress the uh, constant which is the panel specific mean term. So if we want to exclude the constant, then we can incorporate this command option. Then we have the Fisher test. The Fisher test is uh, again having the same command, uh, Fisher test and then Y and then the comma. But if the Fisher test is to be calculated by Dickey Fuller, then we will write this keyword. Otherwise, for, for the Philip Perrin test, we will write this keyword. Now the uh, Fisher type test will be calculated on two lags 
uh, by using the Dicky Fuller and you can see the Fisher test variable name it can be either Y or any other Dicky Fuller after the comma and lags are two and the other command is also similar uh, D Fuller instead of D Fuller we will write P parent that is Philip parent here the lags are three as per our choice and this is how we have understood all the commands now we should uh, go to stata and see the data so this is the file uh, in which we have this country identifier country name year variable x and variable y we also have the here you see that the data is visible the country identifier the country names years and then the variable x and variable y you can see that uh, i'm using this way of uh, you know estimating the results in a quicker way I developed this hack all the commands they are written here and you can see that we can easily uh, copy paste them in the uh, stata window where the commands are executed and it will allow us to get the results instantaneously without having to type them again and again so you see here we are typing and uh, pasting them instead of typing them again one by one so you see the first command is being executed and uh, now the second command is being executed waiting for the results now the third one fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh one and then we are approaching towards the final command so you see all the results they have been obtained and now we should try to interpret them to a certain extent here the first test is there the unit root test llc the number of panels they are there there are 40 number of periods are there statistically significant as well now this is for the difference version if you want to calculate it for the first difference and second difference so we use d dot for the first difference and again the number of panels and period it should be statistically significant because uh, at level it was already statistically significant so now we talk about the um, option of where we can specify a certain range of the years here we have chosen these years and the lags are also mentioned from the LLC options here you can see the number of uh, periods have declined because we have chosen some years and we have dropped a few statistically significant results were there and now we have IPS test which is the other test it is also statistically significant and with some options of selecting some years and some lags now we see the written test is also there statistically significant at one uh, ten percent and then we have the next uh, version of that no constant and here again it is statistically significant at 10 so both of them are there statistically significant at 10 percent trend and no constant variance then now we can uh, have a look at the dickie fuller version of the fisher type test lags are also there and it is statistically significant uh philip perrin version of the fisher type test lags three and here we have the they are also state so this is how we can do the estimation this is a paper statistica uh, published in the 97th of this journal for the sake of reference of the two of these tests it is uh, shown here there is a table in the llc and ips test so sic is the schwarz based this is the first variable at level first, first difference since it was not statistic and the first uh, the first difference variant used so it is integrated of order one same holds for the second variable for the third variable integral level and the final variable is also integrated first so having this information of mixed order we can use ardl or any other contemporary technique in this um, as in paper we have uh, three techniques that are used which are uh, suitable in this case the mean group the dynamic fixed effects and the pool tests these are used to uh, find out the long run relation so i hope you have learned from uh, you may like it subscribe and share it others thank you for watching